Good morning, everybody. Again, thank you for joining us in our morning devotions. Hello, good morning, everyone. Naputuwa po ako at magsama-sama po tayo sa 9 a.m. devotion uh, para pag-aralan po natin ang salita ng Panginoong Diyos. Uh, Pastor Rain, magandang, magandang umaga sa iyo. Kumusta na po? <laughs> okay naman, Jericho. Thank you for joining us and uh, good morning sa iyo. Ayan. Oo. Yes. Uh, alam mo kasi, Jericho, uh, itong theme ng week ng morning devotions, we focus on wise living. And we've been focusing on certain character traits. Today, we will focus dun sa character trait ng purity. Purity oh. of heart. Oo. Oh. So, pag sinabing pure, uh, para sa'yo, Jericho, anong ibig sabihin nun? Pure. Kumari, eto, pure drinking water. Anong ibig sabihin nun sa'yo? Ibig sabihin yan, kapag uh, pure, sa Tagalog, siyempre, puro. No? Ibig sabihin, talagang solid. Ano? Pero kapag yung ilalagay natin sa biblical term, ibig sabihin niyan is ito ay para bang set apart. Your life is set apart to God. For God's glory. Ayan po ang pagkakaintindi ko po yan ng pure. Okay? Sige, gamit tayo ng uh, illustration. Ano? For example, ako ay umiinom ng 100% pure drinking water. Di safe na safe yun. No? 100% pure drinking water. Tapos aalokin kita. Kuwari, oh, Jericho, inumin mo to. Ito ay 80% pure drinking water. Ito ba iinumin mo? Pastor, hindi po ako mainom ng 80% na, na pure drinking water. Eh, paano pagka 90% inumin mo? Hindi rin po, Pastor. Ah, sige, 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 sige. Okay, ha? 99% pure drinking water. Iinumin mo? Kahit na 99% pa yan, Pastor, kahit yung 1% po ang mahihirap dyan, impurity po yan. Pwede po akong magkasakit at pwede po akong ma-hospital. Okay? Marami na pong lumalabas na, ma- na mga sakit ngayon. Alam mo, tama ka dyan. Kasi ang pag sinabi natin pure, it means 100%. If it's, it's not 90%, it's not 95%, it's not 99%. Ibig sabihin, pag pure, 100%. Kasi kung 99% pure lang, di merong 1% na impurity. It does not mean that it's pure. No? Pure means 100%. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, purity of heart. So, join me in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 11. Basahin po natin to. Nakalagay sa verse 11 of Proverbs chapter 22, One who loves a pure heart, and who speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. Wow! So merong blessing pala pagka pure ang heart mo. At saka sabi dito, one who loves a pure heart and speaks with grace. Uh, para bang talagang totoo yung verse na yun, no? na out of the abundance of our hearts, our mouth will speak. So if our hearts are pure, then our words are, are with grace. At sabi dyan, you will have a king or the king for a friend. Ang, ang tingin ko dito, hindi lang basta king. Uh, we can have the king of all kings, our Lord, Savior, our God, as our friend. We can be friends of God if our hearts are pure. What do you think, Jericho? Yes, tama po. No? Halooban po talaga ng Panginoong Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin na maging pure in the eyes of God. Blameless in the eyes of men. Blameless in the eyes of God. Kaya nga po, nais po ng Panginoong Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin makonform tayo into the image of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, I believe in that and I also believe that it is really God's will no? that, that for our hearts to be pure. In fact, it's very important to Jesus. That's why sinabi niya doon sa Matthew chapter 5, yan yung Beatitudes. No? Uh, sa Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, sabi ni Jesus, Blessed, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Wow, ang isang blessing pala pagka pure ang hearts natin, we will see God. That means we will realize the goodness of God, we will realize the faithfulness of God, makikita natin ang kagandahang loob ng Diyos dahil dali siya ang ating puso. On the other hand, wow. oh, on the other hand, if our hearts are impure, if there are impurities in our hearts, then it's very difficult to see the goodness of God. It's very difficult to see the faithfulness of God. Siguro ang lagi lang natin makikita yung mga bagay-bagay na na pwedeng natin ireklamo, mga bagay-bagay na pangit sa ating buhay, no? Kasi impure yung ating hearts, no? And that's why Jesus is saying, 
blessed are the pure in heart, they will see God. See. Somehow, uh, the purity of our hearts, no, uh, or rather, the impurity in our hearts would cloud our visions. The impurity of, a, of our hearts will cloud the way we see things. No? What do you think, Jericho? Tama, Pastor. No? Tunay nga, kapag meron tayong impurity sa ating puso, hindi po natin talaga ma-experience who God is in our life. Kasi nakafocus po tayo sa problema, nakafocus po tayo sa ating sarili, nakafocus po tayo kung ano yung meron tayo. Pero hindi po natin nakikita o na-experience ang kabutihan ng Lord sa ating lahat. Kaya nga po napaka-importante na meron po tayong purity of our heart at then we will experience the, the goodness of God in our life. We will see the we will see God. No, we will we realize uh, the goodness of God with our with if our hearts are pure. Yes, Alam mo hindi lang yung makita natin mm-hmm. ng Lord. No, sa Psalms ang sabi dyan, we couldn't even stand in the very presence of our God. We couldn't even stand in the very presence of the Holy God if our hearts are not pure. Allow me to read Psalm twenty-four in verse three to four. Nakasabi dyan, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in the holy place? One who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to, uh, uh, to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. Na, Naka-define dito, ano ba yung impure heart? No? Ano ba yung heart na impure? Nakalagay dyan, yung mahilig sa falsehood at saka sa deception. Sabi niya, this, the, a person who embraces falsehood and deception will not stand in God's presence. No? Uh, again, allow me to read. Who shall ascend in the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Dapat dalisa yung puso para tayo tumayo sa presensya ng ating banal na Diyos. Alam mo na alala ko si Isaiah? Sa Isaiah chapter 6. Nakita niya ang Diyos, no? Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And as he saw the Lord, he said to himself, Woe is me, for I am undone, for I am a man with unpure lips, no? Uh, un- I am an unpure man, no? And so, mm-hmm. he couldn't stand in the presence of God. Parang mm-hmm. ganito, hindi tayo makakatayo sa presensya ng Diyos kung ang puso natin ay hindi pure. And so, the, the real blessing here is this. How can a person like you and me, paano tayo nakakatayo sa presensya ng Diyos? Nakakatayo lamang tayo sa presensya ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ginawa ni Yesu Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. His blood was shed for you and me. His blood was shed to wash away our sins, to purify and sanctify us from inside out by the washing of, of uh, His blood. No? And because right. of what Jesus did, we stand in the presence of God, not in the merits, not on our own merits or our own Good. credentials, pero sa credential lamang ng banal, uh, ng credential lamang ng ating Diyos at tagapagligtas na si Yesu Christ. So, that's so why we're able to stand <clears throat> before God. And because of what Praise Jesus God. did, we're able to lift up holy hands and we're able to come before Him with purity of hearts because of what Jesus did. So, the question for us is this. Yun po ang binigay at kinalaoob ng Diyos para sa atin. Tayo naman, paano po natin, sa tingin mo, mamemaintain at magagwardjahan itong kaloob ng Diyos sa atin? How can we guard the purity of our hearts? Yeah, meron pong binabanggit sa Biblia, sa Matthew 12, verse 34. Si Kristo pong nagbabanggit po rito. Nakalagay po ron, uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Ano pong ibig pong sabihin nito? Lahat, Dito po ha, we have, hindi lang po natin dapat i-guard ang ating puso, kundi pati na rin po ang ating isipan. Lahat po ng ating isi-feed, isi-feed o ilalagay natin sa ating mga, mga mata o marinig po natin, mga negatibo o positibo po yan. Ito po ay baglalaro sa ating isipan at yan ay papasok sa ating puso. At sa ating puso, lalabas po yung, yung, yung fruit, whether it's pure or impure ang lalabas po sa ating buhay. Kaya nga napaka-importante po to guard our our thoughts also. Diba? Sabi nga po sa, sa Romans 12, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this word, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may know what God's will is. 
approved and and perfect will. Gan ganun rin po sinasabi sa Biblia sa sa Philippians 4:8. Ito pong ito po sinasabi ni 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 Apostle Paul sa bawat isa sa atin. Finally brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, yeah. whatever is just, whatever is pure, Correct. whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, uh -huh. think about this thing. Ayun, think, no? Oo. Yes. Kaya napaka-importante lahat ng papasok sa ating isipan, lahat po ng papakinggan po natin ay ang salita ng Panginoong Diyos. At lahat po ng binabasan po natin, it will, should not corrupt our mind, it should not corrupt our life. Kasi po, ulitin ko po, kung hindi po natin igagard ang ating isipan, ayan po ay maglalaro sa ating isa, ating puso, at lalabas yung impurity sa ating buhay. Tama po ba, Pastor Ray? Ayun. So, sinasabi mo is yung impurity na nasa natin as sa ating isipan ay papasok sa ating puso. Ano? So, that's why we mm -hmm. should guard our hearts. I, I agree with that. In fact, uh, yung 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 and 6, uh, talks about that specifically, no? our thoughts. Uh, allow me to read, ano? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion that raises or rises against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive, uh, every thought captive to obey Christ. No? Taking every thought captive. Kasi nga po, uh, maaring ne-entertain natin yung mga uh, negative thoughts na yan. And so we should submit our thoughts uh, to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Taking Amen. captive every thought, every idea, every motive, no? Just submit it to the Lord Jesus Christ. A good question to ask ourselves in the light of uh, the Lord and in the light of prayer is to ask ourselves, why do we do the things that we do? Is it coming out from a pure heart of serving the Lord, of loving God? Why do you volunteer? Why do you go to church? Why do you, do you have VG? Uh, baka naman meron kang self-promotion. Baka merong impure na nakahalo dyan, ano? It's good to subject our thoughts and our motives before God and really yeah. uh, uh, filter that by having a resolution that we do the things that we do because we love the Lord. We do yeah. the things that we do because we do it uh, in honor of we do it honoring God and we do it in obedience to His Word. You know? And so we submit our Uh, hearts unto the Lord and our minds unto the Lord. But you see, it's not just our hearts that we submit to God. We submit to God our whole being. No, Kinocommit natin sa Panginoon ang ating buong buhay at hinahayaan natin at tindiklara natin na si Jesus ang ating Diyos, Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. Kung sakali po hindi pa kayo uh, nakapag-pray at hindi nyo pa na-declare that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, uh, inilid po tayo ni Jericho sa maikling panalangin upang isubmit at i-commit natin ang ating buhay sa Panginoon. Yes. Jericho? Yeah, let me challenge everyone. If this is your first time to hear this, the voice of God, or if you, this is your first time to hear this kind of preaching, I pray. I pray at kinakatok at ngayon ay kinakatok ka ng Panginoong Diyos yung puso ng Lord. Ay puso mo ay kinakatok ng Lord. It's your time to submit yourself to Christ. And naniniwala po ako wala pong imposible kayang-kaya kanyang baguhin. If that is you at sinasabi mo, Lord, sawang-sawa na ako sa aking pamumuhay. Sawang-sawa na ako sa kasalanan at nais kong tanggapin ka as my Lord and Savior. Let me lead you in this prayer. Sumunod ka lamang po sa aking panalangin. Panginoong Yesus, patawarin po ninyo ako sa bawat kasalanan na aking nagawa. Salamat po na ikaw ay namatay sa krus at binayaran mo ang lahat ng aking mga nagawang kasalanan. Panginoon, binubuksan ko ang aking puso at tinatanggap kita bilang Panginoon at aking tagapagligtas. Baguhin po ninyo ang aking isipan at bigyan po ninyo akong nadalisay na puso na naka-focus lamang sa iyo. Maraming marami pong salamat sa buhay na walang hanggan na iyong ipinagkalob para sa akin. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. I agree with the prayer of Jericho and allow me to pray for uh, also another group of people that is us, na Christians, na, but we would like to commit our hearts before God. The Word of God says uh, that we stand in His holy presence if we have clean hands and pure hearts. Let, let, let's pray. Let's pray. Panginoon, we commit to you our hearts. Alam nyo po ang laman ng puso ng bawat isa. We commit to you our lives. And Lord, we ask that you continue to purify and sanctify our hearts. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that purifies us, that washes away our sins. Lord, right now, Lord, we pray that uh, give us clean hands and give us pure hearts. That we may live lives giving glory and honor to your name. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we commit our, our lives unto you. And Lord, our heart's desire is that your name and your name alone be glorified. Lord, to you be all the glory. And we thank you for today. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> thank you so much, Jericho. Thank you, Pastor Rain, for, the, for that uh, encouraging word of God. At salamat po sa mga nakinig at na, nanood ngayon. I pray na bawat isa po sa atin ay napagpala ng, sa atin, ng salita ng Panginoong Diyos. Maraming salamat din, Jericho. And once more, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us in our morning devotions. Please join us uh, tomorrow and until Saturday for our 9 a.m. devotions. God bless you today. Enjoy your day today. God bless you. God bless you po. All right. Bye. Thank you, Jericho. Bye. See ya. Thank you po, Pastor Ring.